Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays um, GTA 5 Manhunt Checkpoint. Yes, those words. And um, I've decided to make things a little bit more interesting for uh, for you, the viewers. But instead, I'm instead of just sort of starting the uh, my commentary as the run starts, I'm going to skip the first little bit of it while I get away from the first checkpoint, uh, sort of the starting point, and go and find myself a suitable car, and then start to creep in towards the first checkpoint. Uh, because there's not a great deal happens during that bit, and so I think it'd be a little bit more interesting to start in the um, almost well, it's not quite in the action, but it's not far off. So as you can see, I'm um, in the sort of the North Vinewood area at the moment, heading past the golf course and down to vaguely towards the first checkpoint. Now I'm still a little iffy on where, where that is, um, even though we've done this route, num this map a number of times before. But it's somewhere in that sort of built up area in front of me. So I'm going to try and sort of sneak through there relatively subtly and pick up the checkpoint without being caught. I did have a bit of trouble this time finding a car I was happy to use. Everywhere just seemed to be blisters or SUVs or that was about it or terrible terrible vehicles so I've gone for this blister um, which isn't a bad car I'm just aware that I use them quite a lot because I quite I think they're, I think they're reasonably good and reasonably innocuous so I'm a slightly concerned that I may be a little bit obvious in it now there's the checkpoint down there so I'm in almost exactly the right place so let's keep an eye out for any hunters lurking around there being being suspicious Oh, now, for anyone who hasn't played this game, uh, hasn't played, hasn't watched this, me playing this game before, the idea is that I, as the prey, am trying to sneak through all of the um, the checkpoints around the map that we've set up. Um, as, as, I was going to say as quickly as possible, but speed isn't really a particularly of the essence. It's more about uh, just trying to not get killed by all the hunters. So they're going to be lurking around in their um, various sporty coupe type cars, uh, trying to trying to guard the checkpoints without sort of without camping them too heavily and if they, if they if they spot me and work out that it's me in this car then they're going to start trying to chase me down ram me off the road that sort of thing and eventually try and shoot me and kill me or kill me in any way they can they can manage now they're not allowed to shoot from inside cars that's to make things a little bit fairer because it's, it's far too easy to take somebody out if you if you can chase along behind them at full speed and shoot their tires out and then shoot them out so to, to make it a little bit fairer, they have to get out of the cars before they're allowed to shoot. But once they are out, they're allowed to use any bullet weapons they like. So it can be quite dangerous if they uh, if they work out which one's me. me. Goodness sake! It's also really rather frustrating if something like that happens because um, now there's potentially some. No, actually, I don't seem to have too much damage on the side of my car. Now they are also allowed to use the position indicator like that um, to to work out which to work out where I am on the map because there's only uh, what four of them so it'd be a little bit tricky to um, to find me otherwise I'm gonna run this red light and take the checkpoint I hope they don't notice excellent there we go run this one as well um, I seem to have got away with it which is nice so I'm gonna carry on straight a little bit further and then at some point I need to not be going in a straight line because that's gonna make me rather obvious now I've run several red lights in a row there, which will make me really obvious, and I'm also driving on two lanes, which will also make me really obvious if the hunters are watching. But I think I've left them behind, because I think I managed to grab that checkpoint without them noticing. Now in the in interests of fairness and balance, we used to have a rule where you had to, um, the prey always had to change cars between checkpoints so they couldn't just race through them all. We've replaced that rule with one where I have to get into fifth place before I'm allowed to take the next checkpoint. And that did happen actually just after I took that first one. So I'm now good to go and good to go for the next one as soon as I like. And in fact, and I'm now in fifth place again. So yeah, definitely okay. Now, despite that prang earlier, I seem to have got away without any visible damage. Now, damage doesn't always sync properly between um, between computers so there's a chance that what looks like an undamaged car to me will still show some damage to them so if I see something I like I am going to switch cars but for now I'm going to consider this car probably unburnt and safe to continue using because I don't think they saw me when I went through that uh, that checkpoint because I was um I was able to sneak through quite um quite subtly I think I jumped the red light at just the right time and they didn't realize that, that, that I'd done so so, the next checkpoint is uh, down this way in the in the ghetto area, so I'm going to head down there and uh, see if I can pick it up before, uh, change the lane here, see if I can pick it up without them noticing again. Now, 
now i should what i should probably spend a moment or two thinking about my um plan of approach on the way down there because it doesn't do to just if i come in directly from the the most obvious direction then it'll make me a bit more obvious but then how many different ways are there to get there and I can, yeah, it's it's on a four-way junction, so I can come in from this essentially northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. I think I'll do southwest this time. So if I head towards the Maze Bank Arena, and then come in along that road, and then cut up upwards, I think that's going to be quite a good way to do it. Now there's um, we'll have to see how how well how how alert they're being. Um, and the problem with this one is it's a bit more exposed I think so when as you take the checkpoint it's right it's going to be tricky as, as I take the checkpoint it's going to be rather tricky to stay hidden in any any way shape or form from the uh, from the hunters <clears throat> so what I think I'll probably try and do is turn right immediately afterwards the other possibility is to play some sort of funny business try some shenanigans around the alleyways down there uh, that has some potential Right, I'm going to actually be um, a good law-abiding citizen and stop at these red lights because I've noticed that my position is only actually fourth, and that means there is at least there is at least one hunter. No, there is exactly one hunter at fifth now. Okay, there is one hunter who is about the same distance away from the checkpoint as I am, and that means that they're lurking around, trying to work out how far away I am, and that means they're a similar sort of distance away to me, and that means they might be near me. So I think I'm going to try and play it cautiously for now. Okay, so if I sneak down, if I head down this way, I think, yeah, this is sort of the, this will take me down into sort of the, the western end of the ghetto and I can get through there and hopefully from there down onto the sort of perimeter road by the Maze Bank Arena. I'm a, possibly a little bit further east than I ideally want to be, but we'll see how that goes. Come on, cars. Come on, lights, rather. Cause the, and I want to do the, the right turn on red thing, but because uh, I'm as as uh, we occasionally comment, that's one of those things that America have got right. It's it's legal to turn right on a red light if, in most sometimes at least. But if there's a car in, in slap bang in front of, in front of you, it's less legal. What's he doing? Good to say. A little bit of road rage there for, uh, <laughs> for, for, for uh, just for the fun of it. Okay, so here we go. This is the sort of, as I said, the, the sort of the, the western end of the ghetto, if you like. Um, after we go under this bridge. Um, so yeah, if I, th I think, well, I could try sneaking. Oh, I want to, I wanted, I was going to say I want to try sneaking down through Grove Street and then across that way to get it, but it's. There isn't actually a, really a way through there. Grove Street is very much a dead end, which is a real shame because it'd be a sort of quite a, it'd be a nice little sort of way round otherwise. But I can't I can't go that way because I'll just get stuck in there and trapped. And I was going to say there'll probably be gang members there who will start shooting at me, but actually there won't be because we're doing this in um, in race mode. So I think we certainly don't get police, and I think we don't get gangs either, uh, which makes things a little bit calmer and a little bit safer. Fuck? It's a general panic. Let's go with that. Try and behave like all the other AIs. <coughs> I mean, all the AIs. So yeah, that was. I sort of want to be up there, over to the off to the left from here. But if I sneak around this way, I can come in in a slightly less wow. obvious way. I I hope. Oop, time to go. Oh, there's purple. I think he's noticed me. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, he's not. I mean, he... I, I say he's noticed me. He hadn't noticed me at that point, which is why I decided to cut and run before he was actually fully aware of me. At this point, um, because otherwise... Oh, no. That's not good. Because if he'd, if he'd noticed me while I was stationary, then he's got a good chance of... Woo! Oh no, he didn't take out purple, that's a shame. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if, if he... If he 
spotted me and whoop twigged it was me when i was stationary then he's got a good chance of pinning me and if i get if i get pinned then i'm in a lot of trouble now i think there's some alleyways through here and his massive purple car is going to struggle with alleyways i'll just take the checkpoint while i'm here oh he he went round okay that was that was um quite sensible now let's see if we can do the Fast and the Furious thing, where you nip across right in front of the train. No. Oof. Well, that's um, interesting. <laughs> um, I've, conf I've confused them a little bit by, with, with that manoeuvre, and they've all gone in random directions. I'm quite impressed by the bravery of the ones who are going down the railway line, even though there's a massive train barrelling straight towards them along it. Let's try getting down here. I think this is... Oh no, this is a bad move. Oh, well, that's freed me up. Thank you very much for that. Uh, now, along here, this is the storm drain, which... Oh, this is the deep end of the storm drain. This is possibly a bad move. Um, I don't really want to be in the storm drain that much because they've got faster cars than me and there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to... Oh, come on, forwards. What is this, some kind of low-friction tarmac? Oh, they're shooting, as you can clearly hear. Right, well, that means that, oh, at least, I was going to say, at least one of them has got out of their car, so that's one less, fewer car chasing me. But, given the sort of, <laughs> look at that, brightly coloured cars chasing. Right, um, yeah, given the, um, given that it was a big, essentially a big straight line, I don't really want them to be shooting at me in, in, out in the open like that. Do, okay, so now I need to start trying to use this car's small size and manoeuvrability. Oh, but it's it's had too many crashes. It's now starting to... Oh, I've lost at least... I've, I've made a bit of ground over them. If I'd known that, I'd have carried up, tried to carry on going up that um, random little road, whatever it was. I need another turning. I need another turning. I've got to get off this road. Okay, up towards Mirror Park it is then. How close behind are they? Not very. Have I lost them? I think I might have done. Let's carry on this way, actually. It seems quiet. I mean, it, this may be a quiet, too quiet thing. And I know I said they've got faster cars than me. I don't want to be on a long straight road. But I think at this point, the highway is the way to go. Just try and get me away from the scene of the crime. For long enough that I can try and get myself another car. Now, I did get the checkpoint throughout that. Um, I was sort of trying not to pick it up while I had um, people pursuing me, but I have to admit, I don't actually feel too guilty about that. <laughs> I do need a new car, as I say. Uh, that one, I think, is... Is that what I... Th Ooh. No, use the sticks properly, Lawrence. Oh, no, that'll do. I don't think that's a sports car. No, it's a, it's a, it's a coupe. Perfect. That's a, is that a Zion or is it the other one? Zion. Oh, hello. Get out of my ah, channel. Hi. Get out of my channel, you'll interrupt my commentary. <laughs> uh, good luck. Thank you. you. Do it. Um, oh, no, it's a Sentinel. That's the other, the other one. The other one that looks like a Zion. I can't tell the difference between the two. Um, and that was Buck, who was um, supposed to be playing with us, but apparently had, um, I don't know, turned up late. So he just joined Discord to come in and say hi. <laughs> and I've been in, yeah. Um, so now it's time to start thinking about the next checkpoint. Um, I am in last place, so I'm good to go and get it whenever I, whenever I feel the need, whenever I, whenever I want. Um, and so let's see if I turn up here. So okay, I'm on completely the wrong side of the city. Um, but that's not a problem as such. It just means I did a good job of running away. <laughs> and they. Yeah, they realised they'd lost me completely as I was twisting through the uh, junction, through, through the windy bits up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up the top to the top of the city and then head across to the east, uh, to, over towards that checkpoint. Um, hopefully without going too far. Have I gone too far? I've gone too far. This is me leaving the city. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, so if I go, let's see, let's see, left here, if I could... This is me trying to read the map and drive at the same time, which is um, always a struggle. But as long as I don't drive into anything, I don't. Uh, it, it'll go okay. Uh, yeah, let's go up this way. <coughs> Beat 
And then, yeah, so head around this... Th yes, around the top of the golf club. Good, I am. I am where I think I am. Now, I don't want to actually stay on this. This road will go directly to the checkpoint. So, actually, there's a reasonable chance there might be a hunter coming along here. Um, trying to work out how far away I am. Like that, that one. That green car, that's definitely a hunter. Uh, green light there, though, so I can keep going. Now, what I want to do is get a block over to the left at some point. Uh, but not yet, if I can avoid it. If I can manage it. Um, because it's a bit too... Um, bit too early and I just end up in the weird twisty bits of the hills and I don't really want to do that because I'll just get myself horribly horribly lost. There goes green again with a green tire smoke. <laughs> so we had a, we decided that um, <clears throat> in order to get a few more and a slightly better variety of colors in the uh, in the hunter vehicles we've allowed the hunters to choose their to buy their own cars as long as they pick ones that are the same as the ones they could select in the game and if they do that they can then make them whatever colour they like. They can put cosmetic um, flourishes on them and that sort of thing. He's getting suspicious. I don't like this. I need to get off this road. I am going to go up into the hills and get myself horribly, horribly lost. Because if I'm lost, if I don't know where I am, then hopefully they don't know where I am either. Good, he's not followed me. That's a, a relief. Okay, so I've done this now. That means I have to now... Is that even a road? No. Yes. I don't know. Could you repeat the question? Um, oh no, where on earth am I? Okay. Uh, I went up the... Okay, oof. Neck. Okay, I'm going to turn round and take that side road that I wasn't quite sure whether it was a road or not. And I think that's probably going to bring me back down into the city. Yeah, this one here. Or alternatively, it's going to take me winding up further into the hill. I don't... I don't... I just don't know the hills. There are... I was going to say there's no landmarks. That's not true. There's Every single house is different. There's lots of landmarks around. I just don't know any of them because we don't come up here very often. I did actually make another um, survive, another another uh, checkpoint map that was um, basically going back and forth between the hills and the... Oh, I know where I am roughly. Um, going back and forth between the hills and the ghetto because those are the areas we don't know very well. But we had a bit of a try of it and the hills were actually a bit too difficult and also there was a lot of just screaming up and down the, the city from one end to the other which we decided didn't make for quite as an entertaining a run so we've we did that a couple of times to see what it was like but now we've uh, we've, we've sort of given up on it okay so now I am back where I wanted to be which is, which is good news this is where I was trying to get to in the first place because if I follow this road all the way to the end and then turn right, I can come into the checkpoint from the north instead of from um, instead of from the west or the south, which are the more obvious ways. Now, it may be the less obvious way is the more obvious way because they're going to try and double. Bluff. They're going to assume I'm going to try and be awkward, and it's going to be a sort of a double bluff thing. But given that I think that um, khaki green car was Pete, given that he was beetling up and down the main um, east-west high um, main road. I'm going to hope that that means they're not looking for me up here. I mean, we'll we'll see how that goes. We'll uh, <laughs> you, you never know. It, 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 I think it's worth a shot. <clears throat> so there at the end, I think I can see. I think that's the uh, the casino or the racetrack. I can see sort of dead ahead of me, off in the in the haze in the distance. So that's um, roughly. That's the sort of that's the other side of the gorge with the uh, that has the uh, the motorway in it, and so if I turn, I need to turn right, basically the end of this road, just before that gorge, and then I can head down and get the uh, checkpoint. There's a green light. Let's go. And the Sentinel is a reasonably nice car, so when I inevitably get in a chase, hopefully I'll be able to put up some sort of reasonably good showing. Yeah, that's yes, that's definitely the the racetrack ahead of me. Okay, good. I am. It's always nice to see those little landmarks and go, oh yes, I am where I think I am. Because <laughs> it's... And I can, oh, and I can hear the gentle pop of gunfire. That's probably uh, Mike getting suspicious of random cars because he thinks they, that I might be driving them because they look nice or something. Uh, 
he like I think he likes just causing a bit of mayhem, and it has it has advantages and disadvantages for for everybody because it makes the AI act a bit more unpredictably because they get scared of the shooting, um, understandably. And that means if I act a bit weirdly, then I might get away with it. But on the flip side, if the AI are acting weirdly and I act a little bit weirdly, but I don't act the right sort of weirdly, then I might get shot or recognized because I'm not doing the right sort of weirdness. But now they'll all know that I'm in first place, even if they're doing their normal can't count, won't count routine. Oh, there's an Infernus over there. That's probably why. Mike likes shooting Infernuses because he thinks balls are always in them. So I'm just going to wait here at this red light, which is probably a mistake, because now here comes Mike and Pete and Tristan. In fact, all of them. Oh, no. This is bad. Yeah, he recognised... Oh, he recognised my flare model, so he got out and started shooting. And I thought I'd try and nudge him with the car and run him over, but I... Yeah, that was just bad play from my, 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 my from me there. I should I should have run started running as soon as he got out of the car, and then I might have made it away. Oh well, that was um, not too bad a run. I had a good chase in the middle. Uh, it's just a shame they caught me at the end there. Well, thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see if I can fit another one in this video. <laughs>
Wonderful. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, pay back out. Has he got out the sunburn uh, there? I'm just or? getting out. If you uh, can keep him busy, guys. I can't. Okay, he couldn't get out either. Like a rifle beat. Shoot. Ah, uh, probably too far now. I have enough frames! Guy, the fourth man shot me really close to my head, please don't do that. That's very nice. For some reason, you guys. on your right, he uh, decided to get out of the pool. Ah, uh, I beached it. <laughs> where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Left, left, left. Uh, Trying to catch up I here. Think, yeah. I only may have lost you guys. Down. Came out to the right hand side. Oh, seriously, Yuns? I didn't touch you. You did yourself. On, on, yeah. on my screen, you very much touched me. I, I, I didn't. Uh, Do you guys see right. him? No. Where are you guys? No. He's, he's gone. Himself. We've lost him. Uh, he's, he's, um, he's just on that road there, Tristan. I have, however, genuinely beached my car. Have you come out of the uh, storm, storm break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They came out by Los Angeles Customs. And I right, I'm at Rail Yard at the Captain. moment. He is very close. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, gone exactly he's, he's gone first. He's gone first. He's gone first. Oh, where? Well, checkpoint. Like, literally, check all the cars currently at the checkpoint. Well, I've just gone first again, so he's not taking it, but he's right here in this lot, unless yeah. he's, he's gone on the highway. I'll drop down to the highway. This, this is him. This is him. Oh, which which? Uh, this grey car here. Got him. Ooh. Nicely done. Well done. Yep. Little hit for good measure. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA uh, Manhunt Checkpoint. And we're doing a bit of a weird start this time in that um, we've got we're doing the, uh, the, the one of the older maps again, the one that we, where we don't like the first Mirror Park checkpoint because it tends to be a bit difficult, a bit too difficult to get. And so we're just getting that one as a sort of as a freebie, which is why I've just driven through it there without getting accosted. However, the hunters were making various jokes about um, <clears throat> about not necessarily treating it entirely as a freebie, and I did see a couple of them as I was approaching it, so I'm being a little bit cautious. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so I'm trying to uh, trying to be subtle, even though ideally I shouldn't have to be quite yet. <laughs> so we're now um, into the game as as uh, as normal. I'm uh, going to be doing my normal sneaky sneaky tactics where I go across the uh, city to try and find get to the next checkpoint. The next one is down by um, Little Seoul, by the uh, sort of close to Chinese Monument, a little bit up towards the canals, that sort of that sort of general area. So I'm going to. Blinkmobile alert. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and get down there without getting uh, spotted too much. I'm also going to want to change my car because this Asterope is... Let's just say it's not the height of automobile um, excellence. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it's slow and clunky. If I get in a chase in this one, I'm in trouble. We've got the. Uh, we've only got three hunters though at the moment, so that does make the game a little bit easier. Um, assuming I don't do something dumb, which I did in my last run. <clears throat> um, and we'll. So we'll just have to. Uh, yeah, see. See how far I can get this time. So here we are approaching Square of Squares, and I'm just going to try and head straight across the city. I think I'm trying to decide what the best way to approach this next checkpoint is. 
Now, there are a few different ways to... I wonder, I wonder is it possible to be... I'm going to try being really sneaky for this one, I think. I have a cunning plan that probably isn't going to work, but I want to do it anyway because I think it's going to be interesting. Now, I kind of want to approach the checkpoint on foot, but that's even more suicidal. Let's switch cars while I'm sitting here at, this at these traffic lights. Um, that's good timing. Right, um, you can have my Astro. So what my, I have this sort of vague idea that I can. T I think there, there are some alleyways next, next to the checkpoint. Now, I've not really scouted these out, so this is probably going to go badly. But I reckon if I just follow this road all the way over, I might be able to sneak up on them, sneak up on it and grab it without them really being aware of it until it's too late. Now the problem is as soon as they see me take it, which they will if I do what I'm thinking of doing, um, they'll know that it's me, they'll know I'm there and so on. It'll be re I'll be really, really obvious. Um, oh, it's an FQ2, I don't like these very much. Uh, he says just running red light after red light. I'll be really, really obvious because I'll be the car that's just shot out of an alleyway and grabbed the check and, and, and through the checkpoint. So it is going to immediately turn into a chase, but it'll remove the sort of the first part of the, the difficulty of me actually trying to get up to the checkpoint. Now I'm going to try and switch to a better car on the way over, but there don't seem to be any end around. There's another Astro in front of me and a what's that? can't read what it says on the back of the one in front. Whatever that is, they're both terrible cars anyway. That Actually, that blister over there is not too bad. That would be quite good for getting through narrow um, alleyways as well, because it's a small car. Uh, there's not a lot in that lane over there. I think if I get close enough to a blister to take it, then I will. But for now, I'm just, this FQ2 is tolerable, I guess. Um, yeah, It'll get me there, at least. Ooh, what's that two cars in front? That's the same Astarope again. From a certain distance, the Astarope looks like something else. It looks like, looks like quite a good car. It's, it's got a sh shape that, just, I don't know, somehow makes me think it's, it's a reasonably good car, but it's absolutely terrible. Uh, what's that one? That brownish one? I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's very good. It doesn't look very good. Oh, there's a red blister over there next to me. Let's run this light. Check behind me. There's nobody chasing me, right? Good. So if we stop at this light, which we are, then I can jump out and do another of these traffic light car changes. Holy like that. Shit. Hopefully, I can do this and get away without being spotted <laughs> by the hunters. Yeah, looking behind me, I seem to have got away with that. Good. Okay, so where am I? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I I've just gone past. Am I just approaching the checkpoint directly? I'm actually a little bit confused as to where I am because this doesn't feel quite quite as I expect it to. No, I must... Oh, I... Um... There aren't any of the landmarks I recognise yet. I mean, I know the general area of the city, but I don't recognise any of the landmarks apart from that giant purple car there. Um... Uh, which isn't technically a landmark, I know. It's gone away, so I'm, I'm safe from that. Okay. This is, 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 is. I am, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't describe myself as lost exactly, because I know more or less where I am. Okay, that's on the, oh, bridge over to life invader. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'm quite where I was intending to be, but I think I can probably make this work. Oh, there's, a, yeah, there's the movie studio. Okay, I'm not where I thought I was, but okay, this allows me to approach it from a different unexpected direction. So if I go along here, I can then head down, it'll take me all the way down to practically on the beach, and then I can follow the, the go around the bottom end of the, um, there's a green light, and then go around the bottom end of the, 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 the canals, and come back up the other side, and I've never done that before, so hopefully it'll be a little bit sneaky, and there goes Purple again, because he's suspicious of this general area. Well, he's, he's patrolling this general area because the checkpoint is just down there to the left. Is he suspicious of me, or is he just generally suspicious? It can't be! I 
He's lurking around here. Oh no, no, he's getting. Oh, he's, he's investigating another car. Um, have I got away with this? I'm not sure. And I keep. Okay, that those cars went. So I'm just gonna go. Because he has a habit. Yeah, they okay. They're onto me. He has a habit that I'm aware of, where he'll spot me, and then just sit around being all sweet and oh my god. This is not where I want to be. Ooh, that might... Run away! Now, I'm half expecting one of the hunters to come around the corner here, if they're alert enough. And try and gank me from another direction. So I think I probably should either hide or immediately get a car. Get in the car. Oh! Okay, they got round the corner and just in time. I should have hidden. <sighs> That's a shame. Oh well. <laughs> Thank you for watching. That has been a rather brief episode of uh, Lawrence Plays GTA Check Manhunt Checkpoint. Those words, time order. But yeah, it um, that was that was that was quite good. I think at the end there, it was it was at least a little bit interesting. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah, that's the checkpoint, jeez. Didn't expect that to be there. Um, okay. Alright, oh, once that's the car, him? change. Found him. Uh, up by multicolored car park. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's him, but I'm pretending I haven't spotted him. Ah, car there. He's, he's being indecisive. Which cop? Whereabouts? The red one, orange one. Whereabouts are you? Got it. Heading west, uh, south of multi car park. Yeah, that's him. Uh, turn turning north. Okay, you're going down here then. If that's a dead end, that's going to be amazing. Yes, <laughs> uh, get ready to shoot him. He's teleported to the front. Whereabouts? He's not in the car. Has he got out? Where's he gone? He teleported to the front of his car, I can't see. Oh, I see what you mean. Where are you guys? Oh, uh, I don't know. Vespucci no. in some alleyways. Right. So he's on foot then. In the canal zone? Nope. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was very lucky. <laughs> Where? Over here. Behind you, Mike. Uh, you got money. Oh, down there, okay. Yeah, it'll only be like $5. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha.